today we're pretty much going to be doing fidgeting little toys that you can do and yeah I'm not gonna do a big intro because that's kind of stupid for this one so yeah let's get on into these DIYs okay so first we're going to be move that making some little fidgets that you can use with your okay I'm dropping stuff pretty much like a fidget that you can use with your hands that pretty much you just make your own little curves of it you carve out some spots and pretty much she uses to fidget so first thing we're gonna need is of course some clay or a play-doh whichever one your parents more want you to have So we're gonna open up our clay. The lighting is really bad, I just realized this. And I'm not gonna get out a big piece of clay, because honestly I'm more for like tiny fidgets. And you don't have to make this like any certain way. You just take it and form something with it, whether it's just something simple like this, to where it has multiple different curves, and different textures, little holes. Whether you just want to do that, or whether you want to go for something specific, like this, to where you can hold it and you can fidget with it like this. So, yeah. Here we go.
You can just rub your finger like this. Honestly, it's pretty nice feeling, especially for someone like me that fidgets a lot. I'll probably end up doing this in the future. I didn't realize that until this morning that this was a thing. So yeah, that's one pretty simple thing you can do. And now let's get on to All right, so here we're starting our next thing. <laughs> My throat is killing me. Um, it's pretty simple. Just take your hand and put some glue on it. <laughs> This one is it looks weird <laughs> and then after a while it starts becoming hard and almost like it's fake skin so after a while it's gonna dry on my hand and you can actually peel it or you can draw on it and then pretend like oh hey i got a tattoo or you can just pretend like that one part of your skin has grown up to a 90 year old skin cool. okay let's get on to the next diy Which place I have 
zombies. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop saying the numbers because I forgot which one's which. So this one, nothing really to it. This one really didn't have anything to go along with it. It's more of just like a fidget. The glue one, it is now dry and it has the weird look on my hand. And honestly, it started peeling off by its own. And from here, you can pretty much just peel it off by yourself. To some people, that's satisfying. To me, it was weird to watch, weird to hear. It's satisfying to listen to and to listen to glue ripping. But just this in general, it's just... Never during class, during school. Like, whenever we were in school, it would weird out my classmates. I enjoyed, my, I enjoyed it so much. This one that I originally created to hopefully have it dry by the time we actually started filming. Ah, it was not dry because it just fell in my lap. Nice. But yeah. This one is not dry, so I would probably, if you're doing this for like a long-term situation where you like you have to do it very, very quickly, I would more suggest using super glue or a really more fast drying glue. My glue is dripping down the side. Why? What is this doing? But yeah, those are pretty much my five DIYs that you can do. The fourth one really wasn't a DIY since you were pretty much just putting glue on your hand. And this one wasn't really a DIY because you were just wrapping up elastic and pinning it together. So yeah, three DIYs and more of just two things that you can do whenever you're either bored or whenever you actually feel like doing it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, hit the like button down below, and tell me in the comment section what you guys want as my next video. I'll probably either do different types of hamster bedding, or I'll probably do a continuing about things that you can do whenever you're bored. So put down in the comments which one you guys think I should do more of, which one you guys think I should probably do, or which video you guys would prefer me to do. So yeah, bye guys, have a great week.